Good morning, everybody. Good morning from a beautiful day here in the Philippines. Another beautiful day in the Philippines. Heading down to get our day started. Show the guys what I want to do. Some of them already know. They're already on it. Yeah, happy for what this day may have in store. And working on getting a boat motor out, but we'll watch that on separate boat videos. Had an extra one of these little solar lights laying around. I'm gonna put it right out here at this little Bayakubo here at the beach. And we'll have a little light out here. Hang out here, that'd be really cool. It's also nice that from up there at the house, if somebody comes out here and sits at it at night, we can kind of see who's around, what's up. Up oh, there it is. Come on. At least I know that. So the city's getting ready for the big festival here. Mel, what festival's coming? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And they're already blocking off all the streets, building stands. Yeah, it is going to be busy, busy. And man, yeah, judging area here. So they'll be performing right here in this intersection then. Right here in this intersection, because like I say, here's the judging area. Man, they have really put some work in on this. Robinson's Mall's right down the street there. So all the streets are blocked. I bought some tools just now at Far Eastern. Bought this little chainsaw attachment. It goes on a grinder. Looks pretty cool. We're gonna do some carving on some wood there. Here you can see where they're building all the, the stands here at the intersection. Getting prepared for the festival. Everywhere. And man, they built these stalls. Unlike I've ever seen here before. They're all built out of uh, sheet metal here that I call long span with metal purling and metal studs. Man. They really put some work in. They put plumbing, uh, sewer and water. They used PPR pot to plumb it all. That was shocking. And uh, man, they built them all over the place. Uh-oh. Ukai, ukai. Man, that's awesome you got this other down up here, man. I like it. In the CR, sir. Inside. Perfect. Oh, it came out perfect? Ah, mm, uh, let me check that out. That's the same thing, remember, over there to... Oh, man. It did, man. It came out just right. Yeah. That is crazy. It sure did. Well, it's going to be nice to have a roof up here. That's going to be nice. I think it's really going to be a game changer. Now, think about putting that foam insulation underneath this metal. I think it'll reduce the heat standing underneath it even more and make it even cooler underneath that. Um, it's that thin foam they use that's got the silver backing on it. I believe I'm going to put that on there. So in this room that we cleaned out, Ammon Skimco did up in here. 
Man, it's looking very good. Here in the back, these columns here at our little back fence on the yard right here. Uh, they're about to get some attention too and they're gonna get skim coated out. So Ammon's been removing the net that we've had down through here over that and he's preparing those right now. But I see he can't do it all because Melinda's got some vegetables growing down there and it's growing up that net and it can wait it can wait till she harvests those later on but he can at least get all these right here so he's going to get started on that and you can see what they're doing they're working on the steel the framing up there for the roof and man that is going to be really awesome um, I'm hoping for a lot of progress on that today out here under this spruce goose the flying boat y'all tell me if y'all know why I'm referring to it as a spruce goose I want to see if got any of you out here that are history buffs and know what I'm talking about no Americana uh, y'all tell me in the comments below if y'all know what I'm talking about spruce goose some of you probably don't and you're gonna hit the Google and then you're gonna reply like you always knew <laughs> uh, that's okay too that's okay at least you learned something because you went to Google you looked it up you read it and you're like oh that's why so uh, it's all right it's still a win because you learned something then but if you see we're kind of digging out and excavating out around it here uh, if the guys don't know what to be doing, they're waiting on me for their next instructions of what I'm while I'm doing. Well, they're removing the temporary little concrete we mixed and post for raising this boat up in the air. And we're digging it out. And what we're going to do is build a little shallow fish pond uh, right out here under the boat and right around those columns. And we're going to kind of curve it around, give it some style. I see they're digging square right now, but that's not how it's going to be. They're just not exactly sure where I want them to be doing it right now. So they'll get the rest of this out, move the sand. We're just filling in some low areas with that sand right over here. And, yep, then we will be building a little fish pond. And I'm going to take some of that stone that I had hauled in from the mountains that we've been putting in the gabion cages. I reserve some out front and we'll get a natural stone look all the way around. Uh, we don't want it very deep so that you can see the fish in the water. Um, put a little plants in the water. I think it will be very, very cool. So tell me what you think about that idea. The whole idea is to have the looks of the boat in the air above water like it's sitting on water and it literally will be not sitting in the water but it will be sitting above the water i just think it's kind of a cool place to put a pond have another nice feature here you kind of got a uh two for one deal going on right here i think it'd be very cool do you all tell me what you think tell me what you think about my crazy projects and uh i just want this place to have some nice little features not be so boring some fun stuff about it some kooky stuff about it and I think that's pretty great some of you that have been with us for a long while remember back early on in our channel very early on we had a big birthday party on this property before we built the house or anything on it um, there was no CR there was no septic I think there was just one part of the garage and that was it and because we were just using a garage for storage a place to put our vehicle because we didn't have a place at our old house down the beach so my nephew alexander from sweden he was um he was younger then i think he's maybe five and he had this big birthday event that his mom put on for him here at our property and they hired up djs and clowns and uh i mean the the works you know catering and um games and games for adults and games for the children and oh it was of for teenagers too it was just a fun fun time 
Man, there was just tables everywhere and they set up a staging area. I mean, they did this up now, I'm telling you. And it was really, really cool. So, uh, Alexander hasn't been here in I think four years and he's nine now. So his mom has asked to use our place over here and I have a huge birthday party again for him. Heck yeah, let's do this, let's do this. So I am pumped that they're gonna have that party here. Out here, I'm on this front veranda and Joel's continuing these pieces along the front here and he needs to put in the little strainers there also that go in for our drainage on our decks. And this allows the water to stop and go down those drains instead of pouring over the side down below down there. So he's got it there. He's got it around back here. He's like a section from about where you see that white wire to here, a little spot there. So he does that as we have any of these little scraps left over, which that one don't need to be laying there. He's down there cutting one now. And up here, in between the reins, Mock Mock is still welding. He's putting up purlin up here. So have y'all seen in a previous video, he has all of this side up over here on the back half of the house. And now he's putting the other side up on the back half of the house. That's looking pretty cool. <laughs> then what we're going to do after all the steel's in place it's going to take forms and we're going to build forms around the top of these columns uh, we're going to like say for instance over there so you see the three little pieces sticking up we'll cut those off we'll make sure they're welded in really good down that channel and then we'll build a form up all the way around to the top of that channel and we'll pour concrete all the way up encasing that channel iron into the concrete we're going to do it on each one of these and it won't depend just on the weld then it'll be locked in with concrete around it as well Well, that's it. We're about to get rained out again. It's starting to get harder. It's starting to come down again. Same thing hold me up down there on the boat. I need to get down in the back in there, deal with those two bolts. And it's just raining, raining. I don't have a roof over that because we're not ready for that part yet. Yeah, just raining, raining. So stop again. Well, it's close to the end of their day. Maybe they can just... Uh, wrap it up and we'll figure out the next step rained out again man that stinks well i'm pretty excited when we do get the roof on out there because as i said we're going to be putting solar panels back up once we put the what they call long span sheets on it and even this right here in between it's going to get purlins across right there it's going to get a roof there on it that is going to be one of the greatest places to set outside right here. And this is my little office area. Um, we'll be tackling this room here very soon. And what we like on it really is just texturing the walls, priming it, painting it, and putting the light fixtures in.
Everybody, thank you for continuing to watch our videos. And I wanna thank all you new subscribers that have joined onto the channel. Welcome aboard. Hope you go back through some of our older content and enjoy some of it as well. I do have playlists on the channel. This channel, we keep a mix up of things going on. So we're not just about building a house and we're not just about boats. We're about a lifestyle and our lifestyle is here in the Philippines. And so we cover a lot of that. We cover what we're doing, whether we're raising some chickens and some food, or whether we're buying some fish, or what we're growing in our yard right here that we can eat and enjoy and have the happiness and pleasure of that. The parties, the friendships, the relationships that we have with people out there, the ocean life, when we go somewhere and travel, when we go purchase something, to give you an idea of a life abroad, to understand the life of living abroad if you are somebody on the outside looking in. And if you're a Filipino, a Filipina, and you can get an idea kind of like what's going on in our lives here as a expat, a foreigner, an immigrant in your country, and, and see you know what we're doing here and all. And also, I try to be a good ambassador and represent that, you know, uh, us foreigners can be an asset to you um, and not everybody's here being a bad boy <laughs> so I appreciate your support and watch our channel and uh, we're real open to knowing new people meeting new people but just be respectful to us and we'll be respectful to you um, sometimes things don't work out when we can meet up with you and all uh, if you attempt to and and it doesn't work out please don't be offended don't think that like we just didn't want to meet up with you it sometimes is a balancing act between everything we have going on so just respect that but we really do like to meet new people so uh don't be shy of the offer and try to set something up and if it works out it works out if it don't it don't well i'm gonna see the guys off for the end of another day again i thank you from the bottom of my heart and all of you new people that's come aboard, thank you once again, and we'll see you all on the next one. Now, look at me and put your hands up like this. Put your hands up like this and go, I am the great Cornholio. I am the great Cornholio. I am Cornholio. Say it. I am a great Cornholio. Say it real fast. I am the great Cornholio. I am the great Cornholio. I am a great Cornholio. Uh <laughs> 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 <laughs>